The Russian Revolution began in 1917. We, because we study it in history, we memorize that date and we think, oh, right then everything changed. And what happened in Moscow in 1917 wasn't the same thing that happened in St. Petersburg in 1917. They're a long ways apart and St. Petersburg is very close to Western Europe. And so the, the composers that were working in Moscow were immediately shut down. They were told, this is the end. You cannot write music for the Russian Orthodox Church anymore from this point forward. In St. Petersburg, they hadn't quite gotten to that point there yet. So it seems like this composer, Maximilian Steinberg, had some hopes that he could compose this piece and still have it be performed despite its sacred text. By the time he got to 1923, finished his work, the extreme aspect of the revolution had reached St. Petersburg and he was not allowed to perform it. He was able to take his score to Paris and find a publisher for it and with the hopes that somebody outside would like his work and want to perform it. But there's no evidence that anyone ever did. By 2014, there were actually two performances of it that were put on. I found out about it because I had friends in both performances. They posted little bits of the music and rehearsal and so forth. So I was hearing it and I became very intrigued by it. I, I committed myself to doing the work. I thought, this will be an experiment for us. We'll be doing something new that hasn't been heard in Chicago before. But it wasn't until I'd been in rehearsals a couple of weeks that I began to really think, this really is a major work. This is a major discovery. <laughs> it's, it's incredible that this piece was left behind. It is ravishingly beautiful. He's created a symphony of voices through this music. I, frankly, I think the audience is just gonna swoon when they hear this piece. And they're gonna be thrilled. Mm -hmm. 